Hi there everyone. So I thought I'd do a quick video on the new Optics Denoiser which uh, has been included with Lightwave 2019. So under the Render Properties uh, Noise Filter we've got a new on GPU option which is the NVIDIA Optics Denoiser. So I've loaded up a scene which has got quite heavy depth of field so to help with that I've put um, the, the minimum samples, I've turned off adaptive sampling just just to show um, how this works really but um, minimum samples of 32, I've turned all other samples down to one actually just to to make sure that the camera does most of the work uh, because we've got quite quite strong um, depth of field in this scene. So this is rendering without any denoising on and as you can see there's quite a lot of noise everywhere really because I've put the samples down quite low and um, the camera is doing all of the work. Um, right so that's pretty much it. Hopefully you can see the noise is pretty bad, especially around some of these reflective um, bits underneath here. So if I go and turn on the GPU denoiser, so that you can immediately see it working. So even on the first pass, it, do, it has a go at doing the denoising using the optics denoiser. And again, it works wherever you move the mouse. So you'll if you move the mouse over here, it will start denoising these bits before anywhere else. But as you can see, it really does help get rid of the noise. Um, the higher these samples, the more information you're going to give to the denoiser and it will do a better job. And lower samples will give you a more sort of painterly kind of effect, I suppose. Um, but as you can see, it does a it does a pretty good job of getting rid of any noise, even on depth of field type noise, which is quite difficult to get rid of. So if I put these samples, if I double these samples and put them on 64, you'll start to see, hopefully, that it, it gives it more information and you'll get a, a slightly better result because of it. Yeah, you can see there already, really, it's, you're starting to see a more accurate representation around this, this area compared to what it was like before. But it's, it's doing its job and works really nicely. I just thought I'd do this quick video just to show it, show it off because it's really quite neat. Especially seeing seeing it working around where the mouse pointer goes, it's really quite cool. Actually, does a pretty good job of getting rid of this the noise in these um, specular bits under here, which is really impressive. Actually, there you go. Thanks for watching. Cheers. Bye.